This is episode 72 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, January 3rd, 2022. Happy New Year. In this week's show, we compare and contrast four craft beers. First is an American Pale Ale from Green Cheek, then a Keller Pilsner from Green Cheek in collaboration with Virgin. Third and fourth beers are from Humble Sea, an American IPA, and then finishing up with a West Coast IPA. This <laughs> <laughs> the pressure got to him. Yeah. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. We got your other host, Charlie. Cracking beer. There hey, we there we go. That would sound great. We got tech guy Steve. For sure. We're getting ready to pour right off the bat here. We're not even we're not even wandering around here. Fire when ready. Oh yeah. Uh, Get you some of that. Look at that. So the uh, today, guys, we're gonna uh, we're gonna crack a couple of different beers from a, a few of our favorite breweries. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna start off with uh, uh, with a humble sea collab mm. with uh, with Virgin. Smelling um, good. Clever Kook, a uh, a dry hopped Keller Pills. Um, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and then we'll follow this up with a couple of Green Cheek beers, and then we'll we'll loop back to a. Uh, an IPA from Humble Sea that they collabed with one of our, our favorite local beers. Book ending. There it is. Book ending with Humble Sea. That's what I like. So this first beer, guys, it's a, a dry hopped Keller Pilsner. Mm-hmm. It's Sapphire, delicious. Uh, nectar on collaboration with uh, with Virgin Beer here in San Diego. Mm. And Virgin makes great lagers. That is delish, and boys. The, wow. Wow, that is really, really good. Super light, crispy. crispy. Yeah. It's, the, it's uh, not sharp. It's wild. Uh, you know, they talk about um, they talk about in the in the details here. Uh, they took the Virgin's uh, clever kiwi recipe and made it our own while utilizing our personally select Nectaron instead of Nelson. Cool. And so clever kiwi is normally a Nelson hopped, uh, and they um, uh, they did Nectaron, I guess. Here, I like it. I'll take twenty cases. You better uh, get you better get happy. You you just said though that they had this down at a local beer store here. Uh, at, whatever Humble Seas uh, putting out pretty much ends up at uh, Bottle Crap. So if you want it, some that's where it's at. I mean, it may not if it if it just got released, it may take a day or two to get there, but it'll be there. I think a lot of them do show up there. I, I don't. I don't Quite know that their few. triples or you know some of their smaller batch stuff certainly doesn't. No, but this but will be there. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, the, yeah. I think they posted a picture one time over the summer with one of their guys driving up there and driving spears back. <laughs> they did. They, yeah, they have that van and they were like driving up and back. Yep, um, three wheeled van. <laughs> so, or was it a guy in a revel? <laughs> There's gonna be a guy in a rebel this week. Yeah, that's right. Getting out of town. I love it. I mean, I could drink that yeah, all that's day a long. Great. That's a tasty beverage. This is a really good beer. Gosh, they, you know, I, I'm a big fan of, uh, of Humble Sea. Uh, man, they're just spot on. I really like the, what they do with their with their light beers. Well, that Virgin is crispy. Too bad either. No, yeah, there's a. Uh, I'm uh, glad to see that collab. That's a cool collab. That's mm-hmm. that's a legitimate collab there. Uh, somebody that's putting stuff together now. That beer, if it's if it's Virgin's recipe with their hops of choice, pretty mm, impressive. Yeah. I wish they would videotape those things. Yeah. I just want to see what they look. What, what does a collab look like? Like, like a, from a documentary perspective. Like uh, you know, now they're to, probably still doing the the Zoom ones. Yeah, I know, but it just the uh, you know. The chatter, yeah, in the background and the yeah. discussion and then, uh, yeah. Well, maybe we can work that out. We'll find somebody, somebody at some point that we'll run into that allow us to hang out with them in their brewery. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, that Mostra, you can uh, you go over there and brew uh, as part of the TME. Yeah, I I just I just didn't want to be there with a bunch of people. I mean, if it had been a, a you know top. 10 purchasers of their coffee, I would have been in there. You would have been, you would have been spot on. Huh? Yeah, I could have, I could have rolled in there with that, but definitely not with more than 10 people. It's not entertained by, you know, large groups of people for long periods of time. Very well. Well, that was a, that was a great beer. Um, super light, uh, tasty, man. We're going to get into another one here. 
That was really, really good. So this is just like that. Mysteriously, as he arrived, he was gone. And this is, uh, what's his name? Uh, Matt? Mitch. 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 Mitch's last beer at Green Cheek. And that's unfortunate because he's a great brewer. He'll land someplace good. Yeah, he'll, he will. So the, uh, uh, this is a hoppy pale ale with mosaic, El Dorado, Galaxy, and Idaho 7. Comes in at 5.6. Oh, my goodness. Uh, it's it's smelling. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this was designed and brewed by their head brewer, Mitch. Uh, this beer is a celebration of him and the hard work that he has put in uh, here at Green Cheek the last 3.25 years. Mm-hmm. Mitch started with us as a keg washer in uh, August of 2018 and quickly moved his way up the ranks in our little brewery. Dude is insanely intelligent, passionate, funny, and just the best guy ever. Today's his last day with us. And there's no doubt about it, we're going to miss him. Uh, what about the beer? Well, it's a lean pale ale that's light uh, light on the bitterness, heavy on the hoppy ar- uh, aromatics uh, flavor. With taste, Mitch says lemon zest, fruit, uh, fruity pebbles, uh, lychee and cantaloupe. Is that mm. lychee? What's that? Leche. Milk. Is, it, is that what it is? It's a Spanish word for milk. Is it? Very well. There's a little left in there for you. Thank goodness. We'll see what the deal with this guy is. It's not a real hazy beer. I thought it <laughs> no, was a hazy. Hoppy pale ale. Okay, great. I'm in. Hoppy pale. Mm. Delicious. Gosh, Ooh, these guys nice do a good yeah. job, man. I love those uh, hoppy pails. It might be my favorite style. Mm. Um, you know, when they're just fresh and crispy, I just can't keep them in the fridge. Just keep drinking while smiling, though. My uh, King Sue kegs so, so came in, so pretty excited about that. Do you got them all? Uh, no, I went down there, and they got, like, road construction. There's no parking. It was terrible. I just turned around and came home. I'll go down there first thing tomorrow morning and grab it mm. be on my way. Is this, like, the longest name of a beer ever? Yeah. That's a really long beer. And just like that, and mysteriously, as mysteriously as he has arrived, he has gone. <laughs> That's funny. It's going to crash like untapped or something like that. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> going to have a buffer you know, overflow. And then type name in name so field. many words on there. Gosh, that's really, that's a good beer. Uh, super light. I mean, once again, you know, for, for a hoppy, uh, for a pale ale or. Hey, no, the. Uh, do you guys have any decent beers this week? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> uh, I did. What would you have, Charlie? I had a stout from uh, Mason Aleworks. And it is the counterpart to Mason McCreature, which is a smoothie from Creative Creative Creature in Mason Ale Works that they did a collab on. Well, Mason flipped that and made a stout out of the same uh, ingredients. And it's fantastic. And I picked it up at uh, Newtopia when I was getting uh, some mead up there. But yeah... Talk about delish. So you figure that Mason McCreature with that fruit in a stout hmm. is outstanding. What do you think? I think it's a, um, I haven't had that beer yet, but that yeah. Mason McCreature was a really, really good beer. Yeah. Um, no, for sure. What did um, you get, Steve? Uh, picked up something at Valley Farm, so it's available. St. Archer's Brewery Holiday IPA. So it was a little um, ambery. So it was, it was nice. I mean, it wasn't a super hoppy IPA. What was the brewery? Uh, St. Archer. St. Archer, okay. Are we allowed to talk about that? Sure. You can talk yeah. about whatever you want. Yeah. I'm out. Char- there, Steve's got a really... Uh, we're going to th- we're gonna talk about something really uh, controversial here, our next beer. Oh. Mm-hmm. Probably the most controversial beer we've uh, we've ever talked yeah, about, Yeah, that's Steve. true. Well, I don't <laughs> know about controversial, but... Oh, well, it depends on what side yeah. of the fence you're yeah. on. Yeah, They're know. not real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So hey, the uh, best beer I had this week was a uh, um, Modern Times uh, uh, Bourbon Barrel Aged uh, Monster Park uh, with vanilla. The, the little can, you know, yeah. the twelve ounce can, nice and warm. Uh, I watched it when I I drank that. Watched the Vikings uh, mm. destroy the wow, Pittsburgh Steelers. They, they did their best yeah, to try they and. Uh, <laughs> uh, they almost knocked that guy out of the game. Jolly, they beat up on Rockets. He got like a sack like six or seven. For times. sure. Well, but weren't then, they in a weren't they in a position to tie it? 
there at the end? They were. Oh, they came and the back. Kid they that, came back, and then the, it literally oh. they they came back, and it came down to the last play. The kid, oh. the kid that catches the pass, and he's fooling around making the first down play when the clock is ticking. Yes, and he oh. blew it. He wasted it, like it ten li- seconds. It literally it came down to a uh. shot at the end zone, and then they didn't <laughs> like they almost lost the football. <laughs> They were up by 16 points with like two and a half, three minutes left. Oh my left gosh. And gave up a touchdown and then allowed them to drive down the field again. They're terrible. They're, they are who we thought they were. <laughs> oh we God. let them off the hook. <laughs> they, yeah, they're terrible. Denny they were, Green. They have, some of the best statements ever. They, so not, not to turn this into a sports talk uh, show, but, but they, they, these fools, I read this stat yesterday that was like, if they had, <laughs> if they hadn't given up any, points in the last two minutes uh, of, of the uh, of a quarter or the, you know the last two minutes of the game or the last two minutes of the of the first half they would be 11 and 0 yeah. in the last <laughs> undefeated game. Yeah. undefeated <laughs> like they've you know they've just gotten blown out and they, mm-hmm. like they've they don't have a two minute defense 28 minutes 28 minutes a half of great football four minutes of terrible and they're you know Gosh. six and seven they're that's four. unfortunate that they it came down to that. I mean, but yeah, and then good Sunday, beer though. Sunday was terrible too, right? Yeah, Everyone it was. A, start, right? Yeah, like it was the worst so, team in base football. Yep. The yeah, kids, their Detroit first Detroit Lions. <laughs> yes. Took them Against, to the woodshed. I mean, just like who wants to be typical? That like you look past your opponent. This is, they a, are, <laughs> this is a total Charger play. <laughs> yeah, no, they're terrible. They're they terrible. were totally prepared to go. Three and a half quarters with the Pittsburgh Steelers, though. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. They tried their damnedest to sell this. You know? Oh, golly. People Terrible. in Vegas are going, what the hell they, are they, I mean, they doing? They hung, like, they hung a 29-piece McNugget on them the first half. Gosh. And then let them just right back in it, you know? Like, are you, what? Mm, here you go. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah. All right. Back to good beer. Okay, this one's the the controversial uh, California IPA with 100% Citra hops, dude. Let me tell you, this is going to be pretty freaky. It's really good. You've had it? I had. Oh, well, I'll drink it. Well, Don't so worry. Here we are with Cal- California IPA, uh, 100% Citra hops, coming in at 6.8%. Birds AB. are real. Birds are real. Uh, I think Charlie is probably on uh, Team Birds Are Real. Steve might be in the center. Uh, I'm certainly on uh, Team Birds Aren't Real. You don't know anything. <laughs> the, uh, ah, it smells pretty fresh. And, oh, we forgot to give uh, the shout-out to A.A. Ron for um, hooking us up with some, uh, some green sheet today. That's right. Very appreciative. Yep. You just walked in here and slapped me in the face with two or or four, actually, uh, three green cheeks and one uh, Chapman. Just yeah, there you go. I've heard of good things about Chapman. You guys have been there? Yeah. No, I haven't been there, but it's they they make outstanding beverages. So the uh, so this this birds are real, right? They're uh, you know green cheek, obviously cheeky, right? Is their wow. other mascot. Um, the birds aren't real. There's 415,000 people uh, in the birds aren't real uh, Reddit mm. page. Yeah. Yeah, well, they don't know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. You know, like, but this guy like, this guy points out, he's like, hey, he just sold, sold his homing pigeon for uh, on eBay for the 22nd time. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> <If it> was... <laughs> no fools out there at all, huh? <laughs> wow. This is, this is pretty fantastic, oh, yeah. actually. This is a great beer. It's, it's, I mean, it's right up there with that other one. Yeah. That other green cheek, oh, man. Oh. This is delicious. These are all great beers. Gosh, so far, so good. Hope old Humble Sea and uh, North Park don't let us down. Mmm. Mm. Sure like this fire, Charlie. Yeah, isn't it warming? It is a nice little. Dude, if you sit over there, mm-hmm. oh, that's you, good. you burst into flames, pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be willing to bet. That looks uh, like it would cook you. Yeah. Done. Totally done. Medium rare. You cook stuff like. on the... <laughs> no, not there. You couldn't cook anything. No, in there you could. Yeah, yeah. So. That's the... 
He's he's pointing for the people on the podcast. Yeah. He's pointing towards the pizza. <laughs> wow. We're just letting you know. Yeah, I know. It's a personal thing between me and you. Well, people you let, need, people you let the world have it, Steve. Right. <laughs> They're going to be wondering what you're pointing at. <laughs> what, what kind of furnace does Charlie have in his backyard? He has an incinerator, that's for sure. <clears throat> it does do a number on wood, I'll tell you that. Uh, I like this a lot. Mm-hmm. That's pretty tasty. Yeah. Um, that, no, that's a... Uh, um, it's really those citra hops. They're great. Um, you know, it, I wish that we could get some delivery down here of some green cheese. You can. You have to order it. You. Right. But I mean, it would be nice to go down to Valley Farms and be able to get it. Is what yeah, I'm I don't saying. Know. You should bring it. You know who you should bring that up with? Cat. Cat. Yeah. Over at, uh, you'd be like, hey, how come we don't carry this beer? She, I mean, she'll just give me some story. Well, give her some story back. <laughs> it'd be a lot cooler <laughs> if you did. <laughs> there was this time. Yeah, I don't know if they distribute when we were at band camp. No. Do they end up She's at? Uh, do they end up at? Are they ever at uh, Bottlecraft? Uh, rarely. Yeah, they they just self distribute. You guess? I would imagine that's where they do. I mean, it's a local thing. I'm sure you can I order mean, it right online. I think it's twenty four <clears throat> bucks, so it's an extra dollar a can. But if you want a case of it, you know, I mean, that's probably what you're going to pay at Bottlecraft over what you're going to pay at the brewery, anyways. Yeah. So, but my thing is, is that unfortunately. I mean, you look at something, you go, ah, oh, that looks like it's going to be pretty good. Now, in the, in the early days of Green Cheek, we were getting some real bangers out of there. I mean, that lemon drop and then that, that goes that they had for a while. Oh, gosh, they were just knocking it out of the park. And I remember going up there that first time and saying, you know, what should I start with? And the, the owner, Evan. Evan says to me, he goes, well, I'd start with the logger and work my way through the list. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I will. <laughs> and I did. And then um, I was telling him they were selling growler or crowlers for eight bucks. Mm. And I'm like, you guys are blowing it, man. You're, you'd be making $4 more on these because the cheapest crowler I've ever had is $12 before that. Mm. And they're going, really? And I'm like, yeah, really? I think we handed out a bottle of, uh, Modern Times there one time to one of those guys that was working there. Yeah. And he slipped us a, a crowler of something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't remember that part. I do remember uh, some, uh, I don't know, some. Uh, Beverage. Yeah. Distributing. The, um, hey, so today um, Horace released a uh, some meads, some Happy Van Winkle barrel aged wow. meads. Wow, are you kidding me? Yeah, they were did like you get five, you some of that? five different bottles. Uh, mm. They did a Van Winkle uh, uh, Reserve Bourbon Barrel Aged Mead. Uh, so what? I guess I don't know what the uh, did five different bottles, and then he did a like a, a cuvee of the five mm-hmm. different bottles. Wow, mm. I Sounds did get a set. I got set too. All that's, right. a, that's some expensive honey. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but you know what? I'm sweet. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Wasn't the Kooks Club open today? Um, t- it did. Tomorrow? It opened for... So, yeah, they, there's a couple changes to the Kooks Club as well. This uh, this is uh, a humble seat. Now humble you seat. tell me. Yeah. Um, well, no, I told you last week how oh, this I'm year, sure. any orders that you place on um, OZ and R, um, the, the platform you had to use to buy your, mm-hmm. your thing, are free. So previous years, that, that was like my biggest complaint. I wasn't... I, I had kicked around not joining... Uh, the club again, just because I love their beer, but um, man, when you got to buy, like you, when it's $16 in shipping, like you got to buy enough beers, like that's like the starting or maybe it's 12 mm-hmm. bucks. So if you buy just a four pack in a bottle, you're right. into it for, you know, I don't mind paying a dollar per can on shipping price or whatever. I have that stout in the fridge there. I forgot. But to yeah, no, the, uh, um, I, I did I, in the end, I did re up in the mm-hmm. end me and charlie did uh we called it research yeah and, it's uh, all research so we got we got some some free shipping this year Coop which we're research. excited about you know probably uh get a few more i think the first three months it's uh free shipping on any purchase and then after that it's uh, i think it's got to be 50 bucks so you figure 50 dollars that's probably three four packs at least you know mm-hmm. and uh so if you order three four packs that's pretty easy to do with yeah you know and <clears throat> when you don't got to pay the shipping. I always press the button, submit. <laughs> That's it. Go. There you go. Send it. <laughs> Bring it back to me. Okay, we're back to All right. the <clears throat> final frontier here. We're going with uh, Trader Moe's. It's a uh, triple up. Wait. Trader style. 
Trader Style Double Dry Hop West Coast IPA. And this is a collaboration between um, Humble Sea and North Park. So I would imagine this is going to be pretty legit, to be honest. No, yeah. it doesn't smell good at all. Trust mm -hmm. me. No. So we got yeah. this, uh, this uh, DDH West Coast IPA with Nectar on, Mosaic, and Strata. Uh, it's a collab with North Park Brewing. These are my, my two favorite West Coast IPA makers right now. Um, yeah, I would imagine you know, are, that are they are the best. The, the, the two of them, uh, as far as, you know, California, just making the style that I, that I just absolutely love. Uh, they, they, they talk about dank peach gummies, uh, bruised peach, uh, flavors of grapefruit, pine, ripe ne uh, nectarine. What are, they, uh, what are they using for hops? Uh, they're using uh, nectar on mosaic and strata. That's coming pretty popular, is that nectar on? <laughs> yeah, so they talk about, uh, this is a collab with North Park down San Diego. Uh, they've been making some incredible West Coast styles, uh, among everything else lately. So uh, they combined techniques and produced a hop-saturated West Coast style uh, with a little different water profile and bitterness than we typically use on our West Coast styles. It's a little softer than, than uh, Humble Sea's typical West Coast, mm -hmm. uh, heavily hopped. Uh, with all their personally selected hops. I'm interested so. in this because it's it's going to tell me where where these two breweries are at. If it's more like a uh, North Park style compared to Humble Sea style, it's going to be interesting. So I'm smelling it, and it's got kind of a I'm super a, danky, right? It's, yeah, so it's, it's a it's almost like a riny a riny smell. Uh, Ooh, woo, wow. That slides back well. It does. That's a uh, definitely a really light on the front. Woo! Gosh. It's a really good. Uh, it's really running down on the back end, dude. Let me tell you, there's <laughs> some flavor coming on there, and I don't I don't know what it is yet, but I'm gonna. I don't know how they do. Don't this. drink all that, Chris. Let me have it. Yeah, yeah. no, no, boys. This one's no, going no, no. on with me. <laughs> that one, the empty can, perfect. <laughs> no, there's there's a little squirt in there. So, uh, so does that make it sound like Trader is a type? Tr Trader Joe's? Yeah. Like, is it, you know, uh, it's Trader been a while. Mose. What's the uh, the beer that Modern Times makes for Fortunate Islands? Is that the, um, might have to phone a friend. What did it say was on the back end? What did it say the flavors were? Best beery liquid. Let's Oh, that's see. just, that's just their It's not statement. Miracle, it's not Miracle Wolf, right? Because that's a West Coast IPA from Modern Times. Um, Chris, this might be a beer that I might drink a lot of. Uh, probably not, because it's a collab. Let the me, smell uh, is out there. It's like that riny smell. But let I'm me getting, try this. I'm here. getting some wicked good flavor on the back end of this thing. I mean, just really, really. And I'm trying to figure out what it is. And you read off a bunch of stuff, but I wasn't listening because it's a West Coast IPA. Of course. <laughs> yeah. You had checked out already. Um, so... Modern Times makes a. Uh, um, did this was, was I'm gonna there, phone a friend here. I'm gonna. Was there cotton candy or was there? Um, yeah. Hey, oh, Josh. Uh, I just got. I had, had a question here. Uh, we're we're live on the on the podcast. Uh, the podcraft oh. here. Uh, what's the beer that Modern Times makes for uh, Trader Joe's? Uh, accumulated knowledge. There it is. Yeah. Accumulated knowledge. We had to bring in our special guest, uh, mm -hmm. our, our resident phone a expert. Friend. Yeah. A little phone to friend. Yeah, yeah. You know, my uh, my fingers didn't want to search the internet. You won twenty thousand dollars. So we were uh, we were we uh, were drinking this this beer that's called uh, Trader Moe's, uh, which is oh, a collab. Uh, it's uh, good. So we we suspect it's a, a breakdown of that. Right up your alley. So. I'll definitely get you one of those for answering my uh, my call. Who made the uh, Trader Moe's? Uh, Humble Sea and North Park. Oh, okay. So, like, nice. Isn't that easy? It's a West Coast IPA. Oh, phenomenal! Well, it's very good. Accumulated knowledge is a uh, variety of hop uh, hazy mm -hmm. that they make, and it kind of they every time they make it, it's a little bit different. It's Kind of like they're Amish to like what we've learned mm. in making hazies. So very well. Well, thanks for the uh, the knowledge drop, the accumulated yeah, no knowledge. Thanks, Pastor Payne. All right. No well, hey, hey, Charlie, did you get your coffee? Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. Enjoy the rest of your uh, podcast. All, All right. right. We'll Appreciate talk to it. you soon. Thanks right. again. Yep. Talk to you later, guys. Bye. Bye.
So read me again what it was saying about um, the notes or nodes, whatever they're saying it tastes like, or yeah. peaches or something like that. Later. It was uh, just, the smell is starting to come around. Yeah, it was really strong. But the taste is just so mild. I mean, I was, I was shocked that it's not as bitter as a normal IPA, West Coast IPA. Yeah, no, it's it certainly, there's a little bit different. Like they said, it's softer than their, uh, um, than their typical West Coast IPAs. <clears throat> uh, they talk about the flavors of grapefruit, uh, pine, uh, uh, pine resin, uh, and ripe nectarine. Okay. I got the resin. Like, aromas of, uh, peach gummies and bruised peaches. I like a little bruised Dankness. Peach. I think that it is. Dankness. Certainly sure. dank, right? Good call. Yeah. Yeah. Good call. That right there is a, that's one delicious beverage. I was unbelievably excited when I saw that. Mm-hmm. Like, I've kind of been, you know, shying away, mainly beast them. I'm, I just haven't been trying to buy any beer. I've been trying to run through a lot of stouts. And um, I was super excited to see, like, those two come together with, and it not be like a triple IPA or, yeah. or something, you know, like that, oh, great. I can, like, something that I could drink mm-hmm. a beer, you know, like, that's that's a phenomenal beer. Like yeah. I would love, I would look forward to having that beer after work. Mm-hmm. So, is there any more of these? <clears throat> a couple more. Long. There might be some. Uh, I think that beer that either released, uh, and it's possible it's still available. Well, for us, it yeah. won't be uh, mm-hmm. when this. You know, I don't think, but uh, um, this when this airs, <laughs> right? But the uh, I'll, I'll double check on that. See if mm-hmm. it's available. But so, guys, we we did a couple of a couple of different beers. We did uh, the Humble Sea collab with Virgin, uh, the Clever Kook, the Humble Sea collab with North Park, the Trader Moe's. Uh, we did um, uh, Mitch's last beer. Uh, and just like that, the shorter name. <laughs> uh, myster- uh, as mysteriously as he arrived, he was gone. And the most controversial beer that uh, we've ever, ever reviewed. Birds are real. Birds, Birds are real. aren't real. Parrots are real. Um, what was your guys' favorite? I'm going to go with Mitch's, to be honest with you. I thought that was the best beer. And this Trader's is the next one. I mean, that that uh, the first one we did, super tasty. So I'm going to go with that one, this one, that one, and then that one. Okay. And I, I, th- I loved them all. They were yeah. absolutely great. So don't get me wrong. No, I thought they that. were good. Yeah, I thought they were all it's really It's hard really when good. you match them up that close. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, with pails and 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 uh, West Coast, but uh, Mitch's was legit. So, kudos to him for that final beverage. Um, maybe we can get. I uh, probably can't get any more of that. I guess find that Steve, online. What do you think, Steve? Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Traders first, and then the Mitch's, and then Birds Are Real, and Clever Kook. Oh, Clever <clears throat> Kook! You know, I'm 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 going with the. It's really like I'm. Well, Secretariat took it away from me, you know, Trader <laughs> Moe's, you know, by 11 and a half lengths. Uh, but then I would follow that with the, uh, um, and just like that, uh, Mitch's beer. Um, and then I would, um, I think I, 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 I would go with the birds are real. Um, and then, and then put the, not that I didn't like them. No, just it's delicious. Other, no, it's delicious. You know, I mean, it was, this we like kind of overpowered on the pails yeah. and the West Coast yeah. style. Right, and it's something. But that even we if we had a whole bunch of great pilsners, somebody's going to be at the <laughs> fourth place. Yeah, exactly. Right. And There's always a fourth place. Yeah. Right. It's a fourth place here is not a bad. No. no. Right. That's a great beer, but it just doesn't. It's doesn't like a silver medal yeah, anywhere yeah, else, yeah. I think. So. <laughs> Good yeah. stuff, boys. Yeah. Unless we're pouring it out, everybody. Yeah, no, is a winner. We're not pouring. <laughs> Cheers, well, brothers. Week. Cheers. Cheers. We hope you have enjoyed today's show. If you would like to subscribe to this show via your favorite podcast player application, then head over to the podcraft.com website and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures and videos of all the beers we try, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us direct feedback and to connect with us on social media. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a super awesome rest of your day. The 
PodCraft Beer Show podcast is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2022. The podcast is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email the PodCraft Podcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only in compliance with the fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed in this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.